today we're at 1024 Chad's Ridge here in Jonesboro doing a QC inspection on a beautiful home stucco front siding on the sides doesn't appear to be any current damage. We just had a little bit of a shower. Fenced in backyard. Gates working properly. You can see some of the repairs that were just made. We definitely appreciate that. I mean, privacy back fence is a huge selling point. A little bit of damage probably from yard work there on the siding down low. Double doors here. Again, it is a big selling point to have a fence that is functional. This may belong to the next door neighbors, uh, but we could still, well, that is our fence. We could still go ahead and secure that so that it's not gaping uh, about 12 to 15 inches leaning towards our neighbor. I guess this is where there was one time a storage shed. Take a look inside the home. Water all runs off down here to the right. carpet appears to be brand new, so I'll make sure I wipe my feet good. Uh, if it's not brand new, the guys did a great job on it as far as cleaning. I didn't see any uh, spots here in the entryway. The only challenge is a missing outlet cup. In the front, we'll call this the den. It's just off the kitchen. Notice we do not have a door stop mounted down low or on the hinges. So we're going to need a couple of door stops mounted while they come out and replace that, that outlet cover. We've got a couple more outlet covers missing upstairs. Two door stops and three outlet covers so far. Ceramic tile. Home looks great. Um, not able to cook. Having a bit of a challenge. You can hear that slow cadence. May just be the uh, igniters that need to be changed. Oh, the back right kicked on. And then if you strike the stove, usually it actually kicks on. The back right just kicked on. And we have some issues here. Light bulb is blown in the uh, vent hood here, in the built in microwave. Here's our living room. Huge two story ceilings. A very unique window up top. And the missing outlet cover. That's number two of three total. Gas logs. We do have a little bit of, I'm not sure if this is just mounted incorrectly or we just need to secure it better. And basically when you open this back door, this comes down. And to avoid that being a hazard, we need to secure those blinds on there a little bit better. They are very heavy uh, for a door that swings back and forth 
and that is not secured on the bottom. Garage looks great. It is a garage. We expect some nicks or dings or marks on the uh, on the wall, so that's to be expected. Water heater is doing a good job. Let's take a look upstairs. stairs. We have a full bath. Have a bedroom a little to the left just before the master suite and a broken outlet cover laying on the ground. So that would be number three. Across the hall we have a bedroom. No issues. Upstairs, they did change the air filters. They left the old ones laying there, along with some other debris that needs to be taken out. And we need to have some spares left, because we do encourage the tenants to change their own air filters. On the left unit, there is air conditioning that's uh, escaping from the left unit. About halfway up on the right of the left unit, there's a hole about the size of a dime. In the uh, where the ductwork first begins, that needs to be secured. But aesthetically, you know, home, is, home is in great shape, like I said earlier. Oh, we almost forgot our walk in closets here. Again, no issues whatsoever at the end of the hall. But working away that way, we have the laundry room. And then lastly, huge bedroom. It's kind of diced up a little bit because of the way the roof line goes. But uh, it's, this could be a great teenage teen suite. But it is huge. Big walk-in lighted closet. Aesthetically, looks great. Just have a few issues. Again, it's the switch plates, or correction outlet covers, door stops, the blinds on the back door, the missing spare air filters uh, upstairs, and also the escapage, the escaping of cold air from the left unit. And that's it.